Well, hello there. My name is Trey Burgess, and welcome to Sprocket. I gotta be very honest, I have no idea how we haven't checked out this game before, but it's here now. Sprocket is a tank building game. It appeals to me in so many ways. Now there's scenarios and sandbox. I feel like we just start out with the scenarios just to start out easy. And by that, yes, I mean, I tried out the sandbox and I have no idea how to make a tank. So I'm kind of hoping that the scenarios will put up some demands for us. And then that's potentially just going to be helpful for us. Now, just a little side note here. My voice is completely messed up ever since getting a daughter. My sleep has been subpar. And <laughs> that just means that, well, I feel like I'm sick more often than I'm healthy. That's not very nice. Regardless, though, let's get us into the tanking build thing i'm guessing that this is the destroy 75 percent of artillery so we have to get down there and destroy the artillery this is our tank it's just a basic tank really the good thing however is that we can tune this to our liking we can make it look good we can do what, pretty much whatever we want with it we can change the hull like this we can narrow it in like that we can uh, go to the turret we can make this thing stupidly big my god that looks so good I already feel the biggest challenge of this, and I have no idea how to move the turret, so I figure I'm just going to be doing it like this. <laughs> so just going to shorten the tank a whole lot, and I've, I'm pretty happy with this turret design right here. So once we laid out this, we can move on to the next bit, which is our wheels. And in here, we can decide pretty much all of it. The first thing we get to change, this is just so cool, look at this. So the first thing we get to change is our tracks. We can choose a different sprocket here, or a sprocket mount, there's only one of them. Then we have the idler wheel as well, and I don't really know how this affects us to be very Ernest. I don't know if this is all just cosmetics, but it's just so freaking insane. I think these are all a good match. That looks decently cool, doesn't it? And then we can go ahead and grab some suspension here, and you can see that actually changes the looks of our tracks here just a little bit. Now, I'm not really liking this. I think we're going to go for one of these. Let's just go for this one. And then next up, we can also change the looks of our tracks. I'm actually quite liking this one. Let's try these belts and spare tracks. Oh, wow. We can install those as well. Oh, there. Oh, that is so cool. Look at this. So we can bong this on our tank and, and that, I guess, just sits here for extra looks. Does it add weight? Oh, it actually does. 0 0.05 ton. I, I'm okay with that. Right. Then in here, we can also change the looks of our tracks. Look at this. So we can make the tracks this big if we want to. Like, how wide do we want this to be? I don't feel like I want to go, like, stupidly wide on this. That would just look kind of weird. But that, that is actually okay right there. Then we can change the length of each of the track segments just like that. Let's just keep this somewhat normal for now. I don't want to overdo it completely. But I'm pretty happy with the looks of our tracks now so let's go on to the engine and in here i do not know what the effect of each of these will be the medium engine seems to be the best but we can also go in here and just add more or less so we're going to be having six cylinders we can change the displacement i think that's going to give us more horsepower right what if we go for a 1.11 liter engine and then power let's just power up this fully i think we can just test the tank right oh we need a driver's viewport in order to test it whoops so we can't do that just yet we can however just install an exhaust on here my god that is big why is this so big i just now realized that we can change the size of it which is good so this is a bit more of a respectable size i feel like that looks just a teeny tiny bit better and also change the size of this vent but we definitely need a vent that's very good <laughs> this is so cool look at the look at the attention to detail right here so we also have to install the fuel tank and i think depending on where we put this that's also where the fuel tank is gonna potentially be able to be hit from so if i put the fuel tank here for example if we take a rear hit that's not very good we can also just install an external fuel tank making us a, a living bomb i suppose and then we got the fenders which we do have to just widen out just a bit there right i haven't done that and it's time for the gun mount that's definitely going to be the fun part of this oh wow <laughs> that's a tragedy <laughs> we can decrease the size of it a bit but i rather want to go for one of the others here oh this one will look good there now the thing is when i tried this before i was absolutely terrible i pretty much had no idea what i was doing when it when it comes to the building so yeah my tank couldn't really drive <laughs> at all so i'm just gonna give it the necessities here now okay so it's definitely turning it's really 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 slow at turning though now, that's something we're going to have to fix. We have to up the ratio or something. Let's try 10. Okay, that's stupidly slow as well. Because I just now realized that we actually have to go back to the turret and just enable something here that's called Power Traverse, I think. We can also change the Traverse gear ratio. I don't know if this is enabled now or not. So I think I'm slowly getting the hang of it. I honestly just had to mess around with the settings here a bit because it's just so complicated. Like, it's actually insane. But basically what I found out, and yeah, this tooltip down here also kind of tells you all about it. But I think that blue line has to be aligned with this bit right here. So if we just go in here now, you can see we can to some extent actually elevate the gun and okay nope it's it's just going up but let me just show you because we can fix that <laughs> wait hold up i just want to shoot this oh that's a big boom nice because then if we just 
increase the length of this a bit like that so the blue line is around there, around there now oh crap it's a bit too heavy now <laughs> If we just lower the caliber a little bit and then we decrease the length of this, then the blue line is gone now. Okay, you see that? Bam. Now, I'm not 100% sure if you want to make the blue line just completely disappear or if this is fine, but at least the tank seems like it's working right now. I would love to just see if we can reduce the time that it takes to reload just a little bit. And I guess the easiest is just to reduce the caliber just a little bit. So what if we go to 90 millimeters instead? Then I think we have to add a little bit of a counterweight. Oh yeah, look at that. That is so good. Bam. Okay, it's working. And I think we just about made it to where our tank is actually working somewhat. So let's just give it a fancy color here. We got to have something that doesn't stand out too much in this terribly boring land. Then let's just double check. We got our crew in here. They're all looking pretty good. We got ourselves a loader, a driver, and just about all of the things that we need. I just got to get into, get into war. And the armor skirts that I installed on the back have deemed themselves a terrible idea. <laughs> Right, well, I think we made it <laughs> to somewhat of an acceptable solution. I haven't really decided if it is yet, but at least it's a, it's a somewhat working. And I'm decently happy about that. But now it seems that our gun can't really elevate anymore. Now, there's some good things and some bad things about this. I've been driving for about three days now, I think. I don't even know what day it is anymore. But I'm slowly starting to see shots coming at me. So I think just a couple of days more and we should be... Oh my god, we're taking fire. I saw that down here somewhere okay there it is wait why am i on a hill now i don't want to be on a hill i need to fire back at this guy really where is he there he is oh this is very awkward and you just oh you can move up good that's good now i kind of just hope that i survive this because the reload takes forever but i think right about here should be good let's fire away oh that was so close i also think i'm getting shot from multiple angles but it sounds like they're all just ricocheting right now so i think right around there instead oh at gun nice oh, where's that second guy shooting me from it's over here somewhere kind of challenged to land a motor strike right in front of me so i cannot see where it is was it all the way over here oh there aha i got you now i think oh there you are now that was very cheeky the good thing is that we have another tank the bad thing is that it's parked out here and it can't really move so it's been just about five more days but we made it back to here and i think i now remember where the cannons are i don't know if they'll still be there or if the one that i shot won't be there anymore oh well hello there i'm pretty convinced that i saw something Shh. yep i did now i've got no idea where it is so i'm just gonna have to shoot over the hill like this oh that was so close hopefully this will be enough nope Oh, that was not good. Wait, he stopped shooting at me. I don't think he can see me anymore. It was right there. That was not long enough. Is that good? Nope. How was that not a hit? What's going on? But I'm sure this is going to be... Nope. Is my buddy with me? Oh, my buddy is with me. So he took out one of the AT guns, I think. Then we can just use his cover to advance. Immobilized. This one is immobilized as well. Oh, we were defeated again. What? Is <laughs> okay, I think we got to save this thing as this is terrible. And just, you know, we're going to save that for now. And I see that we have a load function here. What if we just take a look at what people have built? And then we'll see if these work any better than ours. Okay, so I just tried out this thing, which looks like an absolute beast. And the best is that we get three of them. This looks so sick. I don't know how they created this, but I'm very, very impressed. I feel like I have a lot to learn. I just want to take this to combat and see what this thing can do. So it has a pretty nifty little cannon there at the front. Yeah, we got a buddy over there and a buddy over there. So let's just try going into combat again. And you know what would be even better? What if I just tell my buddy here to just go ahead of me? Okay, I guess he's kind of waiting for me. They feel like I'm the, the, the greatest sacrifice. I'm the easiest one to sacrifice. I am so impressed by the looks of this. I don't feel like our tank was quite here. I mean, it was close. It was close. Ours was not a bad attempt, but I, I will give him this. It's not as beautiful as this tank. Okay, so this is where we met the enemy last time. I see someone who just shot at me from over there. Oh man, this is so much better already. This is actually so cool. Like the potential from a tank game like this is, is really insane. Okay, you're sitting down there. I feel like that should have been a hit. Oh my God, look at the reload of this cannon. We can just fire away. I think our shot just ricocheted off of that AT gun. There it is. We hit it. I love it how I'm just shooting blind here. I have no idea what I'm shooting at. Oh, is that an enemy tank over there? No, that's my tank. How many did we get? 
One, two, three, four. I think we got five tanks or something. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Can I go over here? Oh, dang it. I'm quite confident I sh should have used... Yeah, whoops. Let's just abandon that one and get a different tank. Why are you parked all the way down here? Okay, so I just found another tank here, which has not been completely messed up by bad driving. Most of the other tanks have. We got a tank parked in the ditch there. Uh, we got a tank parked in the ditch over there. That's my tank. Oh, I think I even see the AT gun this time. It's that one, right? It should be out now. Good shooting. Thank you. Oh, I see another shot over there. Stop. Turn, you good thing. Oh, there it is. Wait, was that all it took? Nice. I'll try my best not to be an idiot this time and just drive over to the very conveniently placed bridge right here. There we are. That was so much better. I absolutely love the physics of... Look at how the tank tracks are moving. It just looks so good. I uh, just made it a bit further and as I was looking through my scope, I saw some new challenge pop up. I, I just did that. I just accidentally hit spacebar. And uh, yeah, we were put back at the base. But I saw some tanks over there. So I don't know what, when, where, and why. Yeah, the other game kind of ended because I hit spacebar again because I'm an idiot. Luckily, though, we can actually shoot at our allies here as well. So we can just see what that looks like, which is kind of cool. It really looks like those side skirts are doing their job. Oh, that definitely impacted. So did that. Oh, it's cooking now. Oh, we took out our buddy. Oh, that is so dope. So shooting at specific spaces definitely also matters. You can see how the projectile just kind of shatters when we shoot those side skirts. And if we shoot the tank tracks there, then that actually counts as a good hit. That is so cool. There's so much more we can do here, but I also feel like I really have a lot to learn here before we, we truly get into all of the goodies. So let's call it a day for now. Oh my God, look at that. When we shoot his ammo, the bullet actually ricocheted and exploded on the ground. Oh, it exploded over there. That's so sick. So let me know. First of all, I need some tips because I have no idea what I'm doing. But besides that, let me know what we should be doing in Sprocket here because I see so much potential for this game. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe until next time. Bye bye. Oh, hey there. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, you can actually subscribe just down below me. And over to my right, you can watch even more of my content. Hey, want an offer, right? Go do it. Now. Please.